do interest groups actually, especially with the rise of YouTube and TikTok and every other platform trying to steal that market share for attention? Let's cover one of the most widely misunderstood facts in, in Facebook. Well, interest groups were introduced as a direct effort to mimic affinity audiences 10 years ago as a way to make Facebook more familiar to people running Google ads. Because at the time, Facebook was a pay-per-click platform, just like Google. And this is tremendously important to understand how they are designed to work. Google is an intent platform. Users are exposed to Google ads because they give the system a signal that says, we are interested in seeing this content right now. You type something into the search bar and it gives you results. And their business objective is to get you on and off Google as fast as possible. The audiences were Google's way of allowing their advertisers to reach people who might not yet have intent. Facebook creates intent. Six years after interest groups were invented, Facebook made it a seismic shift in how the platform operates. Since then, ads have created their own targeting. Ads know who responds positively to it. Distribution of an ad within an audience is by no means random because Facebook is trying to keep people on the platform for longer and longer and trying to get you to want to use Facebook and Instagram. Interest groups, audiences as a technology were effectively deprecated. They're no longer supported or being updated by people at Facebook ever again. And they're getting canceled by the thousands on a regular basis.